Hello all my Annabelle friends, it's Hilary here and I have a book for us to read today. This one is called The Paper Bag Princess and this book is by Robert Munch and Michael Marchenko drew the pictures. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all her clothes with his fiery breath, and carried off Prince Ro Ronald. Oh no, look, there goes Ronald. He's being carried away by the dragon. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forests and horses bones. Do you see all the trees? They've all been burned. There's no leaves left. And she's wearing a paper bag because she has no clothes. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am very busy, dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Go away! I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait! shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes, said the dragon. I wonder what her plan is. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up ten forests with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon. And he took a huge deep breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up Fifty forests. Fantastic, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burnt up 100 forests. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of forests. Magnificent, said Elizabeth. And the dragon took another huge breath, but this time nothing came out. The dragon didn't have enough fire left to cook a meatball. He's got just a little puff of smoke. No more fire. Elizabeth said, Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the world in just 10 seconds? Why, yes, said the dragon, and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just 10 seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, Fantastic! Do it again! So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just 20 seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk, and he laid down and went straight to sleep. Look how tired he looks, that poor dragon. Elizabeth whispered, whispered softly, Hey, dragon, the dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head right inside. She shouted as loud as she could. Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired, he didn't even move. He is sound asleep. Oh, and look, who do you think that is way up high in that window? Do you think it might be Ronald, the prince? Let's see, I think you're right. Elizabeth walked right over the dragon and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. 
You smell like ashes, your hair is all tangled, and you are wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back when you are dressed like a real princess. Oh my goodness. She just saved him from the dragon. Ronald, said Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you are a bum. They didn't get married after all. And that's the end of the story, friends. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will hope, I hope to see you soon. Bye.